Hey guys, here's a quick tip for you. Um, when you're done fishing, you know, a lot of times we'll fish with pogies and we get back and we'll have extra in our live well still. So what we like to do is we save those and make chum out of them later on. Because then later on when you go fishing or if you like us, maybe you go down to the Keys, want to chum up some yellowtails or mangrove, then you'll have it all ready to go. If you have to buy chum, it starts getting expensive. Sometimes it's hard to find quality chum. You know, you don't want like half dead, you know, kind of yucky stuff. But, you know, when you do your own, it's good quality chum. So today we're going to show you how we make our chum. Pretty simple. Got us a little grinder. Um, and we got our cooler full, full of pogies that we've saved. We let them thaw a little. I got some oats that I'm going to mix in. Uh, if you want some gloves when handling all these mushy pogies. And we got gallon bags to put the chum in. You can use gallon bags or sometimes I'll even use milk jugs. I'll just kind of cut the top off. That way you have a handle, a nice square container. Either one works, whatever your preference is. Sometimes the jug or the bags are a little easier to store to get in your freezer, you know, if you don't have a lot of good space. But it's just kind of whatever your uh, choice is. So uh, first what we'll do, we've let our chum thaw. Um, maybe you have a big heavy duty tree grinder you don't have to let it thaw, but all the grinders I've used, it's worked best when you let your bait thaw. Once it's thawed, we're just going to put them in this grinder, let them do its thing, and we'll let them pile up in this bucket. We'll mix some of the oats in, and then we'll bag them in and freeze them. So simple as that. What we're using is just a basic uh, leaf grinder. It's like 120 bucks. Uh, probably got it on Amazon or something. The last grinder I used was another electric one I got on Craigslist for 30 bucks. Uh, so it's not a specific chum grinder. I've tried electric chum grinders in the past, and they don't last very long. You know, these are pretty good. Um, just wash them off, clean them off when you're done, and they, they tend to hold up pretty well. It pays for itself pretty quickly in the terms of all the chum we would have had to buy. So this is good. You can have chum year round. Helps you to catch more fish, and uh, it's just a great little quick tip for you. How does that look? Thick. This leaf grinder does a pretty good job at grinding it up. But if you want it even finer, you can always just put it back in and kind of double grind it. Hope this helps you guys out. Hope you guys learned something. If you got any other questions, you know, you can mix all kinds of stuff in your chum if you want. Corn, I mean, I've seen all kinds of recipes. All pretty basic. You can use it all with the same equipment. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next video.